Whether you're rocking a high-end gaming rig or a budget laptop with integrated graphics, one thing holds true. Optimizing your CPU settings can make a noticeable difference in your gaming experience. If you want smoother gameplay, more stable FPS, and less stutter, this video is exactly what you need. Today, I'm going to guide you step-by-step -step on how to configure Process Lasso for maximum gaming performance in 2025. Whether you're jumping into Fortnite, Valorant, CSGO, or any other competitive shooter, these tweaks will help your CPU prioritize your game, reduce background interruptions, and keep your system running efficiently. Ready? Let's dive in. Step 1. Install and set up Process Lasso. Process Lasso is a powerful utility designed to improve how Windows manages running applications, especially when you're gaming. It works behind the scenes to prevent your CPU from getting bogged down by background tasks, keeping your gameplay smooth and responsive. First, head over to the official Process Lasso website. I've linked it in the description below to make it easy. Always make sure to download software like this from official sources to avoid malware or fake versions. Once the download is complete, run the installer and follow the on-screen instructions to install Process Lasso on your PC. After installation, launch the program. When you open Process Lasso, look at the top menu bar and click on Main. Here, you need to enable the option labeled Manage Processes of All Users. This is an important step because it gives Process Lasso the necessary permissions to monitor and optimize all running processes on your system, not just those running under your user account. By enabling this, Process Lasso gains full control over your system's process management, allowing it to better prioritize your games and reduce unnecessary CPU usage from background tasks. This foundational setup is crucial before moving on to more specific gaming tweaks. Step 2. Choose the right performance profile. Now that Process Lasso is up and running, the next crucial step is to select a power profile that lets your CPU perform at its absolute best when gaming. This ensures your processor won't be held back by Windows' default power-saving features that can cause dips in frame rates or stutters during intense gameplay. Start by heading over to the Active Power Profile section inside Process Lasso. Here, you want to pick the Bitsum Highest Performance Profile. This power plan is specifically optimized to keep your CPU running at peak speeds by disabling unnecessary throttling and power-saving measures that could limit your gaming performance. In addition to choosing this profile, make sure Pro Balance is enabled. Pro Balance is one of Process Lasso's standout features. It dynamically monitors and adjusts CPU priorities for running processes to prevent background tasks from hogging resources and causing input lag or frame drops. It's a smart way to keep your game running smoothly without manually tweaking every single process yourself. All three settings, Manage All Users, Fit some profile and pro balance should be active before moving on. Step 3. Optimize general settings. Next up, let's fine tune some general settings to make Process Lasso run smoothly and efficiently in the background without putting unnecessary strain on your system. Start by clicking on the Options menu at the very top of the Process Lasso window. From the drop down, select General Settings. This section controls the app's core behavior and refresh rates which directly affect how frequently it monitors and manages your CPU and running processes. You'll notice two important settings here related to refresh intervals. GUI Refresh Interval. This controls how often the process lasso interface updates the information you see on your screen, like CPU usage, active processes, and power profile status. Setting this to 5 seconds strikes a great balance. The data stays fairly current without the app hogging your CPU cycles constantly to update in real time. This way, Process Lasso stays responsive and informative without becoming a resource drain. GV Refresh Interval, this stands for General Automation View Refresh Interval, which manages how frequently the internal automation engine checks and applies its rules for process management, priorities, and power settings. Also setting this to 5 seconds keeps the automation running smoothly and frequently enough to catch any performance issues or spikes without overloading your system with constant checks. By keeping both intervals at 5 seconds, you ensure Process Lasso efficiently monitors and adapts to your system's workload in near real-time but with minimal impact on your overall system performance. This is especially important if you're gaming, streaming, or running other CPU-intensive tasks where every bit of resource counts. Step 4. Enable Key CPU Features for Gaming 
Now it's time to dial in the CPU settings specifically for gaming to get the most out of your hardware. Process Lasso's Pro Balance and Performance Mode features are designed to keep your CPU focused on the game while minimizing background interruptions. First, switch over to the CPU tab in Process Lasso. Make sure Pro Balance is enabled. This feature smartly manages CPU resources by temporarily restraining or lowering the priority of background processes that could interfere with your game's smooth performance. Within Pro Balance, verify that all related options are also turned on, including restrain background processes and exclude foreground apps. These settings work together to prevent resource hogging background tasks from disrupting your active game or application. Next, head over to Options and select the Power section to configure Performance Mode. Here, you want to enable three critical settings to make sure your PC automatically switches into the highest performance state whenever you start gaming or running intensive apps. Change Power Profile when engaged. This lets Process Lasso switch your Windows Power Plan to a high performance profile automatically, ensuring your CPU runs at full speed without power saving limitations. Enable Automatic Game Detection. This handy feature detects when a game or demanding program launches and triggers performance mode without any manual input from you. Disable Idle Saver when performance mode engaged. Normally, Idle Saver tries to reduce CPU power usage when your system is idle. Disabling it during performance mode prevents the CPU from throttling down when you want maximum responsiveness. Together, these settings guarantee that your system dynamically adjusts to gaming demands, providing quicker CPU responsiveness, higher clock speeds, and reduced input lag, perfect for competitive gameplay. Step 5. Optimize game-specific settings. Now comes the part where we apply these optimizations directly to your game. Let's say you're playing Game 10, but this works for any game. Fortnite, Valorant, CS2, online and offline. Launch the game you want to optimize. Minimize it, but keep it running in the background. Go back to Process Lasso. Press the T key to quickly find the game process in the list. For example, M for Minecraft.exe or F for Fortnite Client. Right-click on the process. CPU Priority? Always. High, right-click again. I.O. Priority? Always. High, right-click once more. Power Profile? Always. Bitsum, Highest Performance. These steps will make sure your game has top priority on your CPU, disk, and power usage every time you play. Step 6. Set your default power plan. Finally, go to your Windows Power Options and ensure your system is using the new power plan, Bitsum Highest Performance Plan. This ensures that your CPU never downclocks unnecessarily and always stays performance focused. That's it! You're optimized! Now your games will launch with higher CPU priority, use the correct power plan, and potentially run more smoothly, especially on older or mid-tier CPUs. If this helped you out, drop a like, leave a comment if you have questions, subscribe for more FPS and performance guides, and check out the two videos on screen right now where I show you how to optimize a $500 gaming PC and unlock even more FPS boosts. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.